Welcome to the e-invoice API registration process. The API integration helps the taxpayers to integrate their IT system with the APIs of e-invoice system, so that the IRNs can be generated directly without any manual intervention. Now we will see the various modes of interfacing with APIs. GSP's integration, in this, the taxpayer can integrate APIs through registered GSPs. The list of registered GSP can be found in the portal. Direct integration, in this, the APIs can be integrated directly from taxpayer's system. Integration through sister concern GSDN, in this, APIs can be integrated using system-to-system -system integration through the sister company of the taxpayer which is already integrated with API and they share a common PAN. Lastly, if your GSTN is already integrated with eWable APIs, you can continue using the same credentials for e-invoice also. Understand the e-invoice APIs, visit the website at https colon slash slash ingwapersandbox.nic.in. Here, you will get the information on the API schemas and URLs. You can also do the testing of API integration on the sandbox system. Once you have successfully tested the APIs on Sandbox, you can integrate with the production APIs. Now let us see the process involved in API integration under each mode. If you have selected direct integration and not registered previously, then select the option IP whitelisting under API registration. Enter the production IPs that needs to be whitelisted and submit. Upload the required documents and submit your application. The network team will scrutinize and whitelist the IP addresses. Next, select Create API User and enter your credentials. On successful registration you will receive cliented and client secret to the registered mobile number. You can use these credentials and generate TOT token and IRN. If you wish to do API integration using GSP then you need to create API user by selecting the GSP. If you have already registered with a GSP for eWable API and like to continue with same GSP for e-invoice also, then, there is no need to register for GSP again. Same credentials will work for e-invoice. In case you have not registered with any GSP earlier, then select create API user. Now. Select the option through GSP. A list of all GSP are displayed. Select the GSP being used for generation of IRN and DWB. Next, create API user by entering username and password and preserve them with you. Use these credentials and generate the token and request for the IRN. If your sister GSTIN has already registered for API integration in eWay below e-invoice, then, you can interface API using their cliented credentials. Select the API registration and select Create API User. The system will show the GSTINs of your sister concerns who have already interfaced with API. You may contact and get the client ID and client secret. Now, enter the client ID, client secret, username and password and register for API. Once you are ready with all the credentials, you can configure the production URLs of e-invoice APIs and start generating the OT token and IRNs.